In this video we present Starburst, a technique that expands targets to make them easier to acquire. Unlike existing techniques, Starburst is able to expand targets even when these are located inside a cluster of targets. Acquiring small targets on a computer screen can be challenging, especially when using a pen or touch input. To address the problem, researchers have proposed techniques that enlarge the effective size of targets, such as expanding targets, a bubble cursor, here shown with its underlying Voronoi tessellation. Unfortunately, many popular applications contain clusters of targets, such as the resize handles in this graphics program. When applied to clusters of targets, the existing techniques show little effect because there is no local space to expand into. Starburst, in contrast, continues to work. The reason is that Starburst first identifies areas of available screen space and then directs target growth towards these available areas. As a result, all targets are properly expanded. The Starburst algorithm proceeds as follows. Similar to existing target expansion methods, Starburst begins by performing a Voronoi tessellation on the targets. Starburst, however, uses this initial layout only to identify targets that require additional expansion. Here, these recipients are highlighted in orange, while other targets are considered donors. Now Starburst groups recipients with co-located donors to form what we call cliques. Later in the algorithm, the donors of each clique will provide the screen space necessary to expand the associated recipients. Once cliques have been formed, the initial Voronoi tessellation is dropped and only the partition into cliques remains. Now Starburst connects targets to available screen space. When connecting targets located on the inside of a clique, the passage between peripheral targets form a potential bottleneck. To detect and minimize the impact of these bottlenecks, the algorithm organizes cliques into sets of concentric rings. Now Starburst creates what we call claim lines. It starts with the targets on the innermost ring and guides them through the bottleneck by connecting them to the line centers on the immediately enclosing ring. In this example, a single step connects all targets to the outermost ring. Now the algorithm spreads the claim lines radially into the clique's peripheral screen space. Finally, Starburst creates the actual target tiles by assigning each pixel on screen to the closest claim line using the Fortune Voronoi algorithm. This completes the processing and the claim lines are removed. The resulting layout was computed in O of n square steps, which allows for real-time performance with dozens of targets. We demonstrate this in our development environment that allows us to place targets interactively and apply different target expansion techniques to them. Here are some sample Starburst layouts, each one juxtaposed with the respective Voronoi layout. Note how additional targets and tighter clusters cause the Voronoi algorithm to create increasingly smaller tiles. Starburst, in contrast, always successfully connects all targets to available screen space. Similar to existing techniques, target expansion using Starburst can be presented to the user interactively on Hover. For screen content less susceptible to clutter, tile boundaries may be overlaid permanently onto screen content. This approach is also compatible with devices that do not support a tracking state, such as resistive touchscreens. We conducted two user studies in which participants acquired targets with a pen. Participants performed significantly fewer errors if targets were expanded using Starburst than when they were expanded using a traditional Voronoi-based algorithm.